Can you just tell me what's happening? Well, we're using UVA lamps here and we're measuring blood pressure and temperature. If we took this subject outside, what would be the equivalent to what you're doing here on a sunny day? It's probably similar to, to 40 minutes in Cornwall, midday, midsummer. Mm. What we've shown is that UVA lowers blood pressure. This is a lasting effect. Even after the UV lamp is switched off and the skin temperature returns to normal, the blood pressure remains lower. We've only shown it for an hour and it's a fall of about two millimetres of mercury, which, which doesn't sound a lot, but if your blood pressure falls by two millimetres of mercury, your risk of having a stroke drops by 10% and of a heart attack by 7%. And strokes and heart attack are the two biggest killers in Britain. This drop in blood pressure could have such important consequences for our health. I want to know more about exactly what's happening. Professor Martin Felish at the University of Southampton has been studying it in microscopic detail. He's essentially carrying out a miniature version of the same sunbed experiment on a microscope slide with a tiny section of human skin. This is a fluorescence microscope that allows us to look at a small section of human skin. We have it focused on a section that shows the upper part of the skin and the lower parts where the blood vessels are located. The skin sample has been treated with a dye that lights up when a particular chemical called nitric oxide is present. Nitric oxide is stored in the upper part of the skin and it plays a crucial role in controlling blood pressure. As we continue shining UV light onto the skin, the upper part is getting more and more intense green, indicating there's a lot of nitric oxide mm. being released. And from there, because it's such a small gaseous molecule, it will diffuse into the lower layers to reach the blood vessels and cause dilatation. In fact, what you're showing me, this glowing section up here, is what would be happening to our skin if we were outside in the sunlight. Yes, except we would not be glowing. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need a hot sunny day for this to happen? I believe this is happening already at more moderate uh, light intensities, even a cloudy day, but it will not happen indoors. So being outside in daylight is what causes this effect? Absolutely. And we believe there is a whole host of other activities related to this nitric oxide. We come to realise in the last uh, decade or so that the skin is far more complicated than uh, originally anticipated. Martin and Richard's research suggests a potential mechanism for how sunlight lowers blood pressure. But the real question for me is whether the benefit of lower blood pressure outweighs the risk of skin cancer. Richard, I've been saying in my clinic for years now that patients should protect themselves from the sun, and yet what you've told me today has thrown all of that into disarray. What should I be advising people now? Well, some people are at particularly high risk of, of, of skin cancer from, from sunlight, and a melanoma is the skin cancer that matters. Um, if you've got red hair, um, if you burn and never tan, if you've got a family history of melanoma, if you've got lots and lots of moles, those people are at particularly high risk. And I think for them, probably the message remains the same.